In this video, we'll be going over time and price guides. Guides can be added to the vertical or a time axis, and a guide is essentially a vertical or horizontal line that has an attached indicator to show its value. Now, there are two types of guides. There's the price or value guide, which places a horizontal line on the vertical axis. Let's bring this one up first. There are two ways to do this. You can either right click on the vertical axis and select add guide, or you can use a keyboard shortcut key. In the case of the Mac computer, you can select the command key, and that will change your cursor to a horizontal guide cursor. On the PC, it would be the control key. So if I left click on my mouse by holding down the key, it will then place the guide. You can move the guide by left clicking on the guide and then moving it up and down. You can also if you right click, have access to some options here. If your version of Motive Wave has trade functionality, you can then place a order. You can create an alert at this specific level. You can add another guide. You can duplicate a guide. You have access to guide properties. You can remove the guide. And in the case of multiple guides, you can remove all guides. So let's select guide properties. Here we have some options. The first field is the value. So if I were to change this to, let's say, 195, once I click OK, the indicator will now show 195 as the guide is moved to the 195 value. For line, we can change its color, its weight, or the line type. In this case, I'm going to make this green and change the line type to dashed. I will leave the indicator as is. But there's some options here as well. If you click on the orange pencil icon, you have the ability to change the font, the size, as well as the text color. And some background options here. We click Cancel. For Indicator Fill, I'm going to change this to... Actually, you know what? I will leave this to use line color, so it'll be green as well. Now, Lock Figure, if you have that selected, then you will not be able to move the guide. It will stay locked. You can select hidden, in which case the guide is there, but you won't be able to see it. You can always bring it back up via the object viewer from the view menu. Now there's a separate video for the object viewer. You can refer to that for more details. And then there's the underlay option, which I'll show you in a moment. So let's click OK. Now you'll notice that the changes have taken effect. The value and the indicator now shows 195 along with the color changes that we made. Now if I were to draw a box here and add a fill, let me right click properties and let's make the fill color blue, apply You'll notice here that the guide is on top of the box. So if we go back to the guide, click on Guide Properties, and then select Underlay and click OK, you'll now notice that the guide is underneath as an underlay. OK, so that is the underlay function there. Let's go back, right click to Guide Properties. Let's take a look at the Label tab. Under Label, we have the option of showing a label with our guide. So for instance, if I click Show Label and then type here, Cell Here, this will now become the text for the label. We can either line align the label to the right, to the left, or to the middle, select its font, and of course the label color. I'm going to leave this as is. We'll click OK, and you will now notice that the label shows as specified. Right click, let's go back to Guide Properties. Let's take a look at uh, Visibility. Now Visibility, we can either show this on the current bar size only, so if I were to select this, then you're not going to see this on any other time frame as you see here. Let's go back to Day. Let's right click, let's go back to Guide Properties. And under visibility, of course, 
you can also restrict it according to any logic that's here. So for instance, if you want it only greater than equal than the one day, you click OK. It'll show on the weekly anything larger than one day. But if I go anything less than one day, again, it will not show. OK, so that is the first type, which is the price value guide. Now the second type, let's just right click here and remove guide. The second type is a time guide. And this displays a vertical line with an attached indicator on the time axis. So for instance here, if I wanted to add a vertical line specifically here at this high, I can right click, select add guide. And just like the price value guide, if I left click, I can shift and move this and place it anywhere I would like. So I'd like to place it there. Now if we right click, You'll see here some options, add a guide, duplicate the guide, the guide properties, which we went through already, the remove guide and remove all guides. Now, like the price value guide, we can use a keyboard shortcut. In the case of the Mac, it would be the command plus the alt key, and that will change your cursor to a vertical guide cursor. And on the PC, that would be control and the alt key. Okay, that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.